Welcome back to the 12 Days of I. Today we're diving deep into the second I, insight. Insight is like having a backstage pass to the concert of life, giving us a profound understanding of ourselves and the world around us. How deep do you know yourself? How deep do you understand your business or your company? How deep do you understand those around you? These questions are like a puzzle we're all trying to solve. Now, let me share a personal journey with you. Insight has been a tough one for me. My approach was to keep learning, trying new things, thinking that if I dig deep and learn about something, I'd gain insight. It worked wonders for building my company, especially during a pandemic when leaving your jammies became optional. I gained insight on technology, hospitality, sales, and the intricate needs of event planners and suppliers. I even envisioned what the world would look like post-pandemic. But here's the plot twist. I didn't look introspectively to understand me. Only a few months ago did I start to understand me. What was holding me back? Why were sales slow? Why wasn't everyone as passionate about what I was doing? And why was it so darn hard to get people to like me, both on social media and in a personal sense? Well, well, here's the revelation. Not everyone likes you. And you know what? That's perfectly okay. Thank you, Judy Holler, for that nugget of information. Why was I trying to impress everyone? Not everyone is my friend or right fit for my business, and that's perfectly fine. I found myself getting frustrated, angry, and my thoughts spiraled into dark, deep holes. I tried desperately to climb out of seeking validation and approval. It dawned on me. I grew up as a middle child and the only girl. I strive to be in the spotlight, doing gymnastics, theater, dreaming of becoming an actress. Fast forward to a few months ago, I began a journey within to gain insight into myself. After all, I take myself everywhere. I started to explore my emotions and how they transformed into thoughts, creating a loop. This loop led to anxiety and often turned to anger. Now, anxiety might have helped me survive in the past, but it was also hurting me. It took me down spirals I could not climb out of. So here's the game changer. I'm now training my emotions to know they are not me. They are just thoughts. This insight into myself has made a world of difference in my life and my next steps towards the future. What adds another layer to this journey of self-discovery? I'm reminded of the incredible Jade Simmons, a powerhouse speaker on what purpose is. The thing that happens in others when you do what you do. She shared something profound recently at a conference I attended. She said that sometimes change feels like you're cheating on your own self, the one who got you to where you are right now. Recognizing where you've been is crucial, but if you're serious about going somewhere new, you're gonna have to do something new. So as we explore insight today, remember that understanding yourself and your purpose is the key to unlocking a world of possibilities. Subscribe to our channel and join us on this journey of self-discovery and transformation. Because as they say, the only way out is through. See you tomorrow.